Wow, it is football Friday night. Can you believe it? The season we didn't even know we'd had has arrived. It'll look a lot different than we're used to. In fact, it'll look different no matter where you are, but to varying degrees as each school district and each school for that matter is setting its own policies on fan capacities, who's wearing masks. But what does remain the same is the games. They are on and we are on fire as we begin week one of football Friday night. Let's start with Ankeny and Ankeny Centennial. Ankeny found out ahead of time that Social start transfer touchdown machine Arlen Bruce the fourth was not eligible tonight against rival Centennial. Well, guess what? Didn't matter. Up 28 six and a half Ankeny adding to it. Cade Summers takes the Jason Bauer pass and he is gone. 55 yards and it's 35 six still in the third quarter. Bauer drops the snap. He meant to do that. It's the old drop the snap play. It works great. Summers in the end zone again. He is having himself a quarter. And look how Ankeny starts the season. They are going to be scary good. Already are 48 6. A win over their rivals. Southeast Polk and Waukee, the Rams looking good this year at 14 10 in the fourth. 11 minutes to go. They're trying to go up seven, but the field goal hits the upright. So Waukee's only down by four. They march down. The 17 yard line, they go for it on fourth and one, and Linquist is stuffed. That was big. That was their shot. The Rams D is Ram tough. They get the ball back. They march down. A few minutes to go. No field goal attempt here. Jackson Daly to Titus Christensen. The misdirection play is wide open for the game ceiling touchdown. 21 10. Southeast Polk starts with a bang. A win on the road. Valley and Roosevelt. Valley up 17 7 in the third. To give us the Coger. Roosevelt Cuts coming back. Jaden Coger. It's an opening. Coger ends so. It's hard to tackle. Scores and it's now 17 14. Roosevelt in it. Valley's got a new quarterback. His family moved from Colorado when Colorado shut down fall football. Jake Rubley showing off the gun. Nice pass to Matthew Mahoney. Valley goes back up 23 13. Roosevelt not going away. Sophomore quarterback Jamison Patton. He's big, he's Pat. got some wheels, and he's got a nose for Takes the end off. zone. That cuts the value lead to 26-20. But after that, Roosevelt ran out of gas. Valley with a big fourth quarter. This game went final just moments ago. 40 to 20 is the final Valley win. Second quarter of Urbandale and Johnston. The Urbandale Jayhawks got it going. Tucker Langenberg, good at baseball, good at football. The touchdown. And they go up. They're up 23 to 6. And then look at this. Deflected. And it goes to Kai Black. Another score for the Jayhawks in Urbandale on its home field. Working over their rivals to the north. 50 to 34. The Jayhawks start with the win. Coming up next, we've got our game of the week. Plus, uh, first, you make the call. And we're not exactly in a midweek, mid season form.
Yeah, you're right. Here we are. Football Friday night. We've got the mask on, the helmets on. We are ready to go. Let's talk about our game of the week. DCG and Pella. I say we're ready to go, but check it out. Uh, Elgin Rucker was there and uh, not ready to go. Running around before the game and the knee quote unquote locked up. What's going on, man? Throw a flag. Elgin's down. Scott, for week one, you know it's not going to be a clean game. There's going to be some penalties, some false starts because of all the excitement. But you know what flag should stay in the referee's pocket for this one? Grabbing a face mask. You know, these kind. Everybody grab a mask and put it on. That's the rule if we want to keep this season going. Uh, how about somebody grab Zach Brand or not? You don't have to. Brand with the slip and slide like a backyard birthday party and it's a celebration in the end zone. Touchdown Mustangs makes it 7 0 in the first quarter. Now it's about a minute left in the second quarter. Pella's Ryan Mace looking for a window, and somebody left one wide open. Better call ADT, get a sensor put on that one. Mace to restore for the score. Extra point is blocked, but it's only 7 6 DCG up at the half. Mustangs will put up nine more with a touchdown and a safety in the third quarter. Now it's the fourth and DCG unlocks their finisher moves. Square circle X, right left up, and touchdown for DCG's Preston Rowe on the reverse pass. Mustangs make it 23 to six, and would score again in the fourth to make it 30. A week one senior night, how about that? But what a way to send those boys out. DCG picks up just their second win over Pella in their last nine matchups against the Dutch. Final score, 30 to 6. I mean, that's why you're seeing the smiles. We know that this was a good win for our team tonight, and uh, I'm proud of them, and they should be proud. Um, you know, we've, we've gone two years in a row where we haven't scored a touchdown against those guys. With this season, there's so much uncertainty from week to week. We're going to take each week as they come, one at a time. We talked about it before we came out. We're only guaranteed tonight, and I, we wanted to make the most of tonight, and I felt like we did that. For us to step up the way we did, I mean, that, it was really awesome to see it. everyone's improvement from last year to this year, and it really showed tonight that all the hard work we put in. Awesome. It was senior night out there. A lot of games calling it senior night tonight. Well, you make the call is back. Woodward Granger students got their vouchers to come to the game and got their bleachers back after the derate show. This week's another uh, announcer is Faith, who finished strong. Can you believe it? We made it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to mess up one time. Can you believe it? We made it. We got our tickets, and this is you make the call. <laughs> These bleachers weren't even here last week. The derecho blew them onto the truck, but we got them back in time for tonight's game against Madrid. First quarter, Water Granger's Christian Houston gets the corner and turns it up. Touchdown, eight to zero. Water Granger running back Jake Lego. His favorite Legos are Batman. A huge gain moves the six. But not so much this time. Later in the first, still 8 to nothing. Madrid's Kanan Houston flattens Jake Lego. Hey, Lego my Lego. But Water Granger would not be denied in the drive. Trevor Simmons airs it out to Houston. He's got it! 15 nothing, Water Granger. And that was it for this week because Water Granger wins! Well done, Faith. We got to take another quick time out, but when we come back, Carlisle makes a serious statement.
Hey everybody, welcome back to Football Friday Night, Norwalk and Carlisle. This one in Carlisle and we are ready to rock. 31-0 Carlisle in the second quarter. And look at this, they've got some offense. Carson Dunn drops one beautifully into Jacob Eibhoff for the 25-yard gain, led to a field goal attempt, but we're at half, the field goal is no good. Norwalk showing some life in the second half. Max Jurgens, Ethan Carlson, look at that play. Wow, 31-7 though. Too little, too late. Carlisle's Jonathan Dunn scoring. Actually, just kidding, fooled you. Thought he was. I mean, nobody could tackle the guy all night. 45-14, Carlisle with the huge win on opening night. Grab your water bottles and let's get out of here. PCM is going to have themselves some kind of year and a beautiful night as they took on the Newton Cardinals. We get going and we've got trouble for Newton. Easy money for the PCM defense, the quick touchdown and they are on the board. Went like that all day. This one about to go final 44. 18 PCM in the win call. ADM at Nevada, ADM down 20 to zip in the third. Better get going. Better get Tate Stein Smith. ADM's player so good he's got two last names. All the way in. Nevada though, not worried. They scored 21 in the fourth quarter because they kept on feeding the beast. Caden Jones, 6'2, 225. Going and going. Yeah, you got it. You better hit him hard. Third touchdown of the night. 41-21. The Nevada Cubs start with a win.